guys welcome back okay so they're here they're beautiful I'm excited I can't wait to play in them you guys know because you clicked on this video that I am going to be talking about these new eyeshadow palettes from the melt a more eternal collection okay gorgeous you guys look at this packaging just look at it it's beautiful I mean the colors the glossy uh, right next to the matte it's just beautiful and the way that the two palettes come together and they're slightly magnetized so they do kind of you know grip onto each other but yeah you guys the packaging look at the back look at the back of these palettes I love that the shininess from the flowers just it's beautiful <laughs> only true makeup lovers know what I'm experiencing right now okay when you see some makeup a palette design just colors that just speak to your heart so I knew as soon as they dropped the teasers for these palettes and I saw actually the shadows inside I knew I was getting them they're absolutely beautiful so I did not pick up the whole PR box collection which does include some uh, what is it gel liners liquid lipsticks some brushes a highlighter and the two palettes I was so tempted you guys but I didn't get it because I was like you know I really have to stop buying stuff just for the packaging <laughs> and I wanted that PR kit for the packaging now the packaging on these palettes is gorgeous but I knew that I wanted to use the palettes that I would actually get some use out of them so that's why I went ahead and picked them up so I'm going to combine both of these palettes testing them out in one video because I don't want to do two videos <laughs> for these two palettes so we're gonna talk about both of them in this video now these palettes retail for $58 each which is pretty pricey let's go ahead and look at the Vita this is the Vita palette absolutely beautiful you know the packaging of course is gorgeous but when you open her up she does have a beautiful long mirror inside with gold detailing and these are the shadows in the Vita palette I mean it definitely gives you life with all the beautiful reds oranges yellows and greens it just it looks like summer in a palette now this collection is celebrating the Mexican heritage and culture which I think is just so beautiful I love that I know the owners if you did pick up the PR box you did get like a nice little card that has all of the story behind how they came about this collection and you know I just think it's really really beautiful so I missed out on that but it's all good <laughs> so this is the Vita palette absolutely beautiful we will go ahead and swatch her in a minute okay and this is the Muerte <laughs> so yeah this is the death palette okay but just taking a closer look at this palette it is just so beautiful absolutely gorgeous the back is beautiful as well and let's go ahead and take a look inside oh <laughs> just opening this palette just oh it gives me chills you guys look at the colors the deep richness of this palette I mean it is absolutely gorgeous I could definitely see this palette being a little intimidating for some because you know all the reds and blues it's like ugh, what am I gonna do so it is just beautiful I can't wait to dive in so let's start off with some swatches of this Vita palette So these are all the swatches for the Vita palette. 
oh my gosh it is so beautiful you guys the mattes swatch so smooth I do feel a little bit of grit in the mattes but I believe that's only because you know they are super pigmented these are all one swipe swatches the shimmers the green and the orange are absolutely beautiful and those have a little bit of grit to them as well but the pigmentation is just absolutely amazing okay so let's go ahead and move into swatching the muerte palette So these are all of the swatches for the Muerte palette. Honestly, I don't feel like I need to even say anything. <laughs> I mean, these swatches are amazing. Oh my goodness. This pigmentation almost scares me, quite honestly. It is so rich and deep, and the shimmers are just absolutely beautiful. So I am so ready to play in these palettes. Okay, so today I'm going to do something I've never done before, which is do two different eyes. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and start out with the Vida palette, and I'm going to use this on this side. <laughs> and I'm going to do the Muerte on this side. So let's start out with the Vida. To prep my lid, I'm going to go in with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Okay, so hopefully that will give me a nice base to work okay, with. Okay, so I'm just dying to jump into this bold red here. So I'm going to start by placing that in my crease. Okay, so next I'm going to go into this orange matte shade here and place that just above that red. And just above that, I want to go in to this beautiful bright yellow shade. Now I'm just going back in with a little bit of that red just to make sure everything blends nicely. pigmentation is out of this world <laughs> it's out of this world okay let me cut this crease with some of my makeup revolution cut crease canvas and then we'll go in with some of the shimmers okay and so for the first part of my cut crease I'm going to go into this beautiful bright green shimmer here spraying my brush It's pretty. Now I want to go into this beautiful orange shimmer shade. Now just going back with a little bit of that green to blend those two together. Now I want to go back into this bright matte yellow shade and put that on the outer wing of this look. Now 
nice little bit of fallout there. Okay, and so for this side, I wanna go in with a green liquid eyeliner. Okay, you guys, so that is the look for my Vida side. Let's go ahead and move on to the Muerte side and see what we can get going with this palette. So I'm just going to go back in with some of my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and just place some of this on this lid. Okay, so I think I'm going to start out with this beautiful deep navy blue shade, placing that in my crease. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop that blue right there because I wanna do something different to incorporate the burgundies or red shades in this palette. But to blend out the edge of that blue, I think I'm gonna go into this really beautiful light shade here and see how that works blending out that blue. That shade is nicely pigmented. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> okay, so now what I want to do is try and incorporate this gorgeous, beautiful, deep burgundy plum shade or wine shade, whatever it is, right next to that blue. Let's see if I can pull this off. Oh my goodness, it's so dark and rich. Oh, it's gorgeous. And right next to that shade, I'm gonna go into this beautiful red shade here. Now those two colors are very similar. It's hard for me to even tell the difference. Okay, and now for the beginning portion of my lid, I wanna go into this beautiful bright red here and place some of that down. It's kinda of hard to incorporate reds and blues without them turning purple. <laughs> so I'm trying to be very careful here going back into that dark blue. And just tapping it right next to that red. I am so in love with these palettes. You guys just don't even know. <laughs> oh my gosh, the pigmentation is crazy. Now what I wanna do for this side, since I'm working with blue, is I wanna take just a little bit of my Too Faced um, foundation powder just to blend out right under my eyebrow. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease on this side. Okay, so now that I have that cut crease, of course, I'm going into this gorgeous light shimmer shade here. And 
next to that, we're going into this beautiful dark blue shimmer. I pretty much covered up all of that red that I put down. <laughs> nice going, gay gay. Now I'm going back into this super light matte shade and place that on the outer portion of my wing. So since I lost the red that I had on the outer portion, I'm gonna go in with some of this kind of like burgundy, pinky, reddy <laughs> eyeliner just to bring that back in. Okay, now that I have each eye done, vida and muerte, I am going to finish up my complexion and then we'll come back and finish up the lower lash line mascara and talk about my first impression of these palettes. Okay, you guys, my complexion is complete. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up these lower lash lines. So I'm gonna go back to the vida side and I think I wanna do a really bright green eyeliner on my lower lash line as well. And to smoke out underneath my lash line, I wanna try and take a very small amount of this red and place it very closely to my lower lash line. And for the inner portion of my lower lash line, I'm gonna go back into this super bright yellow and just tap just a little bit right on the inner portion. Okay, and now going back to the Muerte side, I wanna use a really dark navy blue eyeliner from Morphe. And to smoke out the lower lash line on the Muerte side, I think I'm going to go into this really dark, beautiful burgundy shade here and use that to smoke out this side. And of course, for my inner corner pop on the Muerte side, I'm going into this beautiful bright shimmer shadow here. And this shadow is very powdery <laughs> for a shimmer shadow. So I am going to spray my brush a little bit. That is bright. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go in with my Thrive Mascara on both sides.
Okay, you guys, now for what I would consider maybe the hardest part, the lips. But I think I'm going to stick with the theme and I'm gonna do two separate lipsticks. So for the Vita side, I'm gonna go in with one of my Juvia's Place lipsticks. And for the Muerte side, I'm going to use one of my Fenty lip paints. And this one is a really deep, rich purple. Okay, guys, so these are my final looks for the Vida and the Muerte palettes <laughs> let me just hold them up okay so these are my final looks for these two palettes why do I feel like I look like the Joker you guys <laughs> this is very strange for me because I've never done two different eye looks before ever so and definitely not two different lips but I think it's pretty cool okay you know you can see a little bit let me see here okay so this is the Vita and this is the Muerte I like both of the looks. I really, really am very happy with how they both came out, how the shadows perform. The pigmentation is out of this world. Okay, the shimmers, they have a little bit of bite to them, a little bit of, a little bit of grit to them. And the really light, bright shade, um, it is a bit powdery, but none of that is negatives for me, <laughs> okay? I think that these, palettes are beautiful I think they perform amazing and I'm so so glad that I went ahead and picked this collection up I mean <laughs> like I wasn't gonna get them right okay so yeah I had a lot of fun creating these looks I love these palettes I hope you guys had fun watching me create these looks <laughs> in this video like I said something very strange and different for me of course especially this lip this lip is like really <laughs> it's tripping me out right now but anyways I love these palettes you guys I haven't been <sighs> the last time I was this excited for a drop for a release was the Norvina palettes okay and I still am like in love with those palettes so stuff like this is what really gets me going anyways I love them they're beautiful gorgeous for me very easy to work with because I love working with extreme pigment okay some people don't like this type of formula I love it okay so anyways so that's it you guys for this milk cosmetics a more eternal palette <laughs> try on for the vida and the muerte and uh, i love them okay so thank you so much for coming to check out my video hang out with me please hit like if you enjoyed watching me create these looks or you like the looks that i created go ahead and give your girl a like subscribe if you're not already subscribed and i will see you on my next video